And then lastly, encourage positive reviews. If somebody has said they've had a great time or the service that they've delivered has been, has been brilliant and they've actually told you that, that's the time to ask for uh, a positive review. They're, they're gonna feel more obliged to write something nice about your business. If it's down the track, it gives them a chance to maybe think about things and perhaps give you some uh, criticism. So hit when the iron is hot. But you do have to be careful what you ask for. Um, you wanna be ensure that, that the customer actually has had a positive experience. So I'm gonna give you an example of asking for reviews gone wrong. So yellow cab taxis a couple of years ago um, were hit by the problem of Uber coming in with their disruptive service of ride sharing. And I don't think yellow cab taxis really would have had much marketing to do in the past. They didn't have any competition and um, yeah, I can't imagine they even had a marketing team, to be honest. So they scrambled together and they came up with a fantastic idea of asking for customer reviews, getting their customers' stories uh, to publish on social media. And they did that with the hashtag, Your Taxis. And these are some of the responses that they got. Your Taxis, it smelled like a Wookiee's armpit. <laughs> I was preached at about Somali immigrants are destroying Australia for 25 minutes. Your Taxis. Your taxis driver said he didn't know where Flinders Street Station was and had me directing there. Flinders Street Station. <laughs> Your taxis driver fell asleep on the freeway and almost wiped out a car in the next lane because he'd pulled an all-nighter. Your taxis. And even worse, been groped and the am I driving to your home? Where is your husband? Are you marriage stick? Your taxis. So you can see this completely backfired. This got global uh, press about how bad uh, this marketing team, this PR stunt was. Um, and there were, there were literally hundreds of these types of responses. They totally underestimated the sentiment about their business. So hashtags and reviews are a very dicey area. So this is my, my recommendation about hashtags and reviews. If there is a chance that you could have a negative sentiment about your brand, don't create your own hashtags. And then if you say, no, my, my business is brilliant, nobody says anything bad about me, ask, you, ask yourself, are you absolutely sure? Because if there's a chance, in particular like hospitality, you might have the best cafe in the world, but sooner or later, someone's gonna leave a negative review, either they were unreasonable, or they just wanna cut you down because they're jealous. Um, hashtags are a really dicey way to ask for customer reviews.